Okay, y'all, I'm back. Who Lord, y'all, this color, I know y'all shut the fuck up. But y'all, this color, it, it changes everything. You know what I'm saying? I had on a pink shirt, a pink white beater, and I'm just like, mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm look good. So, I had to go put on me a black Hollywood hottie tank top from, um, what, Fredericks? Yeah, Fredericks. Tina turned me on to that. But y'all, Did I just droop, dribble wine down my damn lip like an alcoholic? Yeah, I know I'm not finna start this over. I don't care if I am at 37 seconds. I, mean, I ain't finna record over. But y'all, yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna show... I don't think I'm gonna show Big Daddy tonight because he went and shaved his bald head and edged up the goatee. I can't show him tonight, y'all, because he look too damn good. Y'all, if I tell y'all I am a fucking sucker... I am a sucker for a man with a goatee. You got to have pretty teeth and stuff, you know what I'm saying, like my husband. But if you got a damn goatee, right? Like, oh, oh. Hold on, y'all. Yeah. Speaking of uh, the hubby, y'all, I don't know, if, like I said before, I don't know if y'all can see what I see on my own new feed. But I recorded a video, a video earlier, coming from the nail shop, on my cell phone. And that damn video been processing since, shit, 3.30 and it's 8.30 at night. I need to, you know, that's why I don't recover my phone because it takes forever to upload. And, um, anyway, I need to go through the settings and stuff because YouTube is like, but you can go to Help Center and every time I think about it, I'm uploading. So I go to Help Center trying to figure it out. I'm like, I'm just like, forget it. But I'm kind of, I'm glad that it didn't upload because I want to, I'm going to record it again now. And I'm already at two minutes, so y'all forgive me. It's going to be long, but y'all know I'm going to entertain y'all. So, you know, I'm CK68. I'm going to entertain y'all. So, anyway, I'm trying to remember everything that I said in the video so I can say it again. But I, I, I think I pretty much know what I said. And it's funny because, again, like I said, I'm glad it didn't upload because, um, <laughs> before I forget, the video I did last night, um, Darkness, a, a new series I'm going to be doing on my channel, you know, because like I keep telling you guys, I, you know, I have too much time on my hand. Well, I don't want to say too much. I have a lot of time on my hand. God has blessed me with that. Thank you, God, again. Thank you, God. God has blessed me to have a lot of time on my hand, so I'm always thinking, you know, especially, you know, since I'm doing videos, I'm always up at night. I, well, you know, I... While everybody else is asleep, I'm in the dark, like y'all saw, you know, the TV on. Sometimes the TV will be on mute and I have music on. But that particular night, I want to look at that movie, The Skull. So, uh, my mind was just, was, was going. So, I'm like, you know what, let me record. So, again, that's going to be a new series. So, um, if you look at the comments on that video, Hourglass, yeah, you. Hourglass 39 left a comment, you know, saying, how you know, um, Big Daddy gave you all the money. And before y'all start typing, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. If you don't know Hourglass, which is Felicia, yeah, if y'all don't know Felicia, you know, me and her, we cool. And, you know, anybody else can take it the wrong way, like... What she talking about? She hating or whatever? Nah, she ain't hating. You know, it, it's an ins it ain't an inside joke. But if you don't, if you don't remember the video I did by my birthday, that's what she was referring to. She was referring to their birthday cake. My husband went to Kroger and had this lady make for me, and she kept calling my husband plain Jane, plain Jane, and gave him a damn birthday cake with um with little girls, little rings on it. You know, like it was an eighth grade birthday cake. You know what I'm saying? So I ain't get mad because my husband tried. And I ain't get, I, you know, I ain't get mad at her either because I don't know why she did that. But yeah, she made my cake at 45 years old look like an eighth grade cake. So yeah, that's, you know, that's, that's something funny. So, um, you know, don't, don't say anything negative or whatever. You know, she, you know, she not said anything bad. But, um, but before I forget, Felicia, and, and the rest of y'all, you right. I know Big Daddy didn't give me all the money. You know, he didn't. He didn't, he didn't give me all of the money. And again, y'all know me. This, what I'm saying is going to, 
it, you just hold on and wait till the end of the video. It's all going to tie into each other. But he didn't give me all the money. Because I woke up this morning with some more money on the stove saying, pay the pool man and go buy some um, some washing pot. He put, he bought detergent. You know, go buy, go pay the pool man and go buy some detergent. So, I said that for a reason. Okay, so hold on. So anyway, the video that I was been uploading for hours was this. Again, I, you know, like I said, I had a lot of time on my hands. So I woke up this morning, and it, I don't know, it just came to my mind. I was thinking about a situation they have. I think it was last year. It's been maybe a year or whatever, around the time my husband's um, father had died, I think. Yeah, my husband's father passed away. They, and, you know, he passed away. And um, what happened was I was passing... You know, down the foyer, coming to my room, and I happened to look out of the front door, and I could see my husband getting out of his work truck. You know, he had my, you know, we got glass or whatever at, in the, at the door. So I was just standing there looking at him because he was struggling. He, you know, looked like he was struggling anyway. He had these bags, like four bags from Kroger. He loved Kroger. Mainly because it's convenient. You know, it's co convenient. It's right down the street from my house, walking distance from our house. So he went to Kroger. And I'm just standing there, just looking, looking through the door at him. You know, he and I was looking. I'm just looking at him. I just started laughing. I said to myself, I said to myself, you know what? <laughs> I said, I bet you anything. Them bags is full of washing powder, dishwashing liquid, the little capsules or liquid or whatever he buy for the for the dishwasher, toilet paper and paper towels. Let me, let me make sure. Hold on. Toilet paper, paper towels, detergent, dishwashing liquid, and the dishwasher stuff. So five things. For some reason, my husband come home like once a week, sometimes twice a week, with bags full of that stuff. Washing powder, dishwashing liquid. The dishwasher, detergent stuff, toilet paper, and paper towels, okay? So I'm just sitting there looking at him. So I open the door. I'm like, you know, you need some help, you know? He's like, I got it, I got it. So I find him in the kitchen. So I'm saying to myself, you know, just trying to hold back the giggles. You know what I'm saying? I'm just, I'm like, you know what? You know, he, he might got some groceries in there, you know? He, he might got some snacks or whatever. And before I forget, you know, he do come home all the time, you know, with and another thing he always buy, the, like the basics, milk. Bread, milk, bread, eggs, cheese, and lunch meat. That's another five things to come home with. But the first five things is like, like, like a must. So I'm in the kitchen, I'm just watching him. He know I was watching him. I, I'm, I'm looking in the bags, and lo and behold, he pull out washing powder, dishwashing liquid. The little capsules for the dishwasher, toilet paper, and paper towels. Y'all, I bust out laughing. And he looked like, you know what you're laughing at? I said, you know what? I stopped just standing in the doorway looking at you, bringing home all that shit in the house. I said, do you realize? Yeah, I love, I love Al Green, but I got to have the right talking music. Yeah, I can talk off of that. Atlantic, Atlantic store. And y'all always ask me, I'm listening to a course slapper radio. And the orders I put in is Maze. Maze. Y'all know Maze and Frankie Beverly. Type in Maze and you will hear all of this music that I'm listening to now. But anyway, let me hurry up. Anyway, he um we ain't gonna hurry up because this I gotta get to I gotta get to the point. Anyway, he like what you laughing at? I said, Do you he said, What you laughing at? Okay, let me let me let me slow down. I said, baby, I said, Do you realize that you always come home every week? With the same five items. I said, you just addicted to buying those five items. He looked. He said, well, well we, we need a toilet paper. I said, yeah, we, we do. You know, I said, but we got plenty of paper towels. We got plenty of the other stuff. I said, you always just always buy that, you know. And he always, you know, he 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 always got something smart to say. He always be like, when you, when you on, you you on never buy. I said because you always buy. That's why I never buy. Cause I know you gonna come home with it. And he, you know, he looked and he didn't say none. 
and I, and I, and it, like I said, the same, the whole time I'm sitting there talking to him, I'm like, you know what? I say, well, the whole time I was looking at him, I was thinking about his father that passed away. When we went to, um, when we went to, to Louisiana to bury his father. His father, I, I learned that his favorite store was Sam's. So he, he, you know, he, he had like, you know, it was just him and his wife that stayed there. So he had a, a pile of, of soap, you know, they have soap. He always had a pile of soap. He always had gallons and gallons of dishwashing liquid. He always had, you know, piles and piles of, you know, toilet paper, paper towels. So I told my husband, I said, you know what? I said, I bet you that you buy that stuff because you probably saw your father coming home from work every day or whatever with that stuff. I said, then you. And y'all, my husband turned around. My, I swear to God, my husband turned around and looked at me. He was like, I didn't think of that. I said, did he? My husband said, yeah. Cause my husband used to go stay with him in the summertime. You know, they, they, you know, his mom and stuff, they went together. So he used to go stay with his father in the summertime. So I'm like, you probably, he said, yeah, you're right. He said, I, I he always used to come home with stuff like that. I said, that's where you get that from. I said, you ain't even know it, huh? So it was just like, you know, bittersweet moment or whatever. We laughed and cried about it. But he didn't realize, you know, it was just like a habit him to come home with the same stuff. You know, whether we had or not, he would just go to the store. Again, what a man's supposed to do. What the head of the household supposed to do. You know what I'm saying? He came home, he come home with that kind of stuff. And I was just sitting there thinking about that this morning when I was getting ready to go run my errands and stuff. And I was just thinking about myself. I'm like, you know what? Go ahead and turn my music down. Y'all know how y'all be, y'all be sick how your music loud. But um, I thought about my own self this morning. I'm like, you know what? What did I grow up seeing my mom do? You know, and, and the only thing I could think of was growing up seeing my mom fussing. I grew up seeing my dad and my, you know, when I went to visit my dad because they weren't together. I grew up, you know, seeing my dad and my dad's side of the family playing dominoes, playing spades, playing taunt, um, playing, I said dominoes, excuse me, um, playing cards, fish, frying fish, fish fry, listen to, to music, listen to blues and just and all that kind of stuff. That's why I get my love for, for music and, and entertaining and and, and, and laughing and, and dancing from my father's side of the family, thank God. Because I grew up listening to my mom fuss all the time. And, and, it, and it dawned on me, y'all, I swear to God, this morning that I'm like, you know what? That's why I'm on YouTube. Because if y'all don't know, I've said this before, when I come on YouTube and hit record, I just start rambling. It comes naturally to me. I don't. I think about something, you know, I sit back and think about a topic I want to talk about, but if I sit back and I'm going to say this, I'm going to say this, and I'm going to do this, and I'm, I, I can't do that. I have to just hit record and let it, come, let, it, let it flow. So I realized this morning that that's why I come on here and let you and tell you guys about stop nagging your man and stop doing this and stop, stop doing this because I, because I grew up, I did get tongue tied, I grew up listening to my mom fuss and nag all the time i grew up looking at my mom fussing at her boyfriend because like i said you know my father and, her, and my mom they, they was they never was together you know but they had three babies together but they wasn't you know never living together whatever so but um i grew up looking at my mom fussing and fussing and fussing and, rah, 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 and running me and off and i never forget I, I never forget, I waited until I was in the 12th grade, thinking I was grown, because I had got married in the 12th grade, in case y'all don't know, I got married in the 12th grade, so I remember, I never forget, I was in the kitchen, and I was telling her, I'm like, you know what, you done ran off another man, because, you know, she had, you know, had boyfriends or whatever, and, um, they all treated us nice, they treated us as stepkids, not one of them abused us, you know, molested us, or treated us better, whatever, they was there to help my mom with us and all I heard was ah, 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 ah. And I used to be like oh my god what the, what the fuck you know and I never forget I told her I'm like you know what the last one she ran off 
was Buddy Reed. We call him Buddy Reed. He's a preacher now, married to, you know, somebody got, you know, got, got his own family. But that was the nicest man, y'all. A man from God. That was the nicest man. Buddy Reed taught me how to drive. When I was, you know, I turned 16. I'm like, you know, my, you know, mama, everybody else driving to school or driving. I, you know, can I, you need to teach me how to drive? Or can you? I ain't, I ain't, I ain't say you need to. Back, in, back then, I got fuck slept out of me in my mouth. I say, mommy, you no, know, can you teach me how to drive? You ain't driving my car. I ain't got no gas for that. I ain't got no gas. What you want to learn how to drive for? You ain't going nowhere. And I'm like, oh, my God. And I remember he said, you know what? <coughs> Let that girl drive. She need to learn how to drive. And let y'all know how old I am. Never forget, because I told Buddy Red. I said, I said, Buddy Red, I said, I got a dollar. You know, they could get us a gallon of gas. Yeah, I, I never forget. Went to the gas station. And I was looking, trying to see, you know, how much gas gonna be. Am I gonna have any change left over? I never forget. I can see this as this as plain as day on that gas thing. That gas said ninety seven cents a gallon. And I remember putting out my dollar. I'm like, we're well, here, some money for a gallon of gas. And of course, he's like, no, nah, girl, you know, with your dollar, I'll put some gas in your mama car so she won't be fussing and stuff. But your gas was ninety seven cents back then. I ain't that old, but I'm just saying it was ninety seven cents. Anyway, he talking about the driving all this stuff. But anyway, let me hurry up because I'm in sip. I'm, damn, time going by fast. Anyway, it dawned on me that that's why I come on here and, let, and tell you guys certain things about, you know, don't be nagging your man when you come home. Let that man alone. Let that man go rest and all of this stuff because I grew up seeing that my mom nagging, nagging, nagging. And she wasn't put. I can't never remember an argument that she had with her boyfriends about them going out messing around. It wasn't that. She was always fussing at us, you know. Like I said, I understand now. I didn't understand then, but I understand now. You know what I'm saying? She was a single mom raising four kids by herself. You know, and, and you know how we you know how back in the day, take your ass outside, don't come in the house until I say come in the house. And take your ass outside and leave me alone. Something got to get them nose and close my door. Don't let all that AC out and you know stuff like that, you know. But you know, it, it, she was she, you know, she you know whiner, nah, nah, nah. But um that's why I come up and let you guys and tell you guys there. That's and I realized that's why I do what I do. That's why I say what I say on YouTube. Because I've seen it and I never realized until this morning that I'm telling you guys stuff without telling you guys that that's what I grew up seeing. You know, my mama nagging away all of her boyfriends. Every good man she had that was trying to be our stepfather, she ran them out fussing, whining, complaining about everything. I love my mama death. I do. But y'all, it's, it's like... You still fussing? And I realized years ago, you know what I'm saying? You know, you, you know, you can be like your mom. So I realized that, okay, when I get into my, my mood, especially the time of the month, I, that's why I stay by myself in my room. Because I know I, I'm irritated. Every little thing irritates me. Diva irritates me. Everything irritates me. So I just stay in my room. I don't want to run my husband off and my kids off because I'm I'm fussing. Run, 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 run. I, I catch my sex because I know... I know what I'm doing. I catch myself. Sometimes they'll be like, you know, why you back here by yourself? Why you all in, in your room all day? And I'm like, you know what? Well, I just don't feel good. And my husband's like, come on back here. Come on in the, in the man cave. So I come. I could be back there for like 30 minutes and Diva will still get on my fucking nerve because she's bouncing and jumping all on me. And and, and I can see my husband and, and my daughter looking. You know, they they having a good time back there. But here I come. You know, fine. And Diva, leave me alone. I'm like, you know what? I'm, I'm finna go. My husband's like, where you going? I'm like, I'm going back in my room because everything is irritating me. So, I said all of that to say this. Women, you know, trying to just just look at this video and trying to figure out, are you doing some of the things that you grew, grew up seeing other folks doing? And I'm just going to say it like I said in, my, in the video I recorded earlier. This is how I said it. Are you a fucking hater because you grew up seeing your mom at the cafe with with um her friends at the cafe drinking slips and y'all sitting there with your nose turned up? She thinks she cute. That bitch made me see. Just hate folks for no reason. Are you a fucking gossiper because you grew up seeing your mom or your aunties or whatever gossiping about everybody and you think that shit normal and cute? Did you grow up like that? You know, you grew up to be a fucking whiner and rah, 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 everything. Get on your nerves and you complain about everything and shut the fuck up. I, I'm, just, I'm just saying. So, I said out of that to get to this point. Um, <laughs> Felicia. 
you know what mama and I'm, I'm and this is a perfect way to end this video you was right he didn't give me all his damn money that, that negro didn't give me all of his money good i woke up this morning he left some more money on the stove and told me go pay the pool man and go buy some detergent I swear to God, y'all, this is not made up. This is what he told me. And again, I bust out laughing because I'm like, here he go again with this goddamn detergent. But this time, we was out of it for real. But see, I, I didn't notice that because I, I don't, I, I didn't notice. But he left a note with some money and said, pay the pool man and go buy some detergent. <laughs> so that's why Felicia I said that you was going to laugh after this video. I hope you laugh. I hope you learn something. All of you ladies. So it's 20 minutes and I'm fucking talking y'all asses off. So that's it y'all. I holler. Yeah.